I have spent the last three months researching the best way to build a garden workshop. And I know that many people who are considering building a workshop, garden room, man cave, she shed, whatever you want to call it, end up not going for it because they're not confident in their plans. So for the benefit of everyone watching this series, I have decided that I am going to be documenting all of my struggles to allow you to be confident in building your own ultimate garden workshop. I've also taught myself CAD and I'll be making all of the plans available and there'll be a link in the description below. The dream here, and maybe it is just a dream, is to create a community of people that also build the ultimate garden workshop using the plans that I have provided. And whether you decide to use those plans exactly how they're written or as a basis to customize them for your own design, that's absolutely fine. This series will document everything that you need to know to get started. And if that does sound like a vision that you can get behind, then now would be a great time for you to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the future episodes. Now, as this is the first episode, it seems only proper for me to do a bit of an introduction. And I'm sorry I'm wearing sunglasses, but it's too damn bright out here. For anyone that's new to the channel, hi, I'm Jack. I make regular woodworking DIY and tool review videos. And it's become pretty clear that my six by eight foot shed isn't going to be enough for my needs. So I am committing to creating a new workshop in the summer of 2024. And before I can start planning what that will look like, I am gonna to need to clear the area where I want to actually have that built. And as you can see behind me, I've got two sheds that need to be dealt with. Unfortunately, because I have a YouTube channel, I can't just do anything without filming it and making a video about it. I first needed to make a video about how to install a plastic grid shed base. And of course, then I needed a way to hide my new shed. So I put in a layer of hedges. And then because I was in the gardening mood, I also wanted to build this vegetable patch, which gave me somewhere to put the soil that I will be digging out for the base. After that, I called up my good friend Chris, who agreed to give me a hand to move both of my existing sheds to elsewhere in my garden. So as you can see, both of the sheds that used to be right where I'm standing have now been moved. And because I didn't have a dedicated weekend, I did this over three weeks. It did feel like that took forever. I've now just got to take up the one remaining shed base and then this is ready to be dug out and lay the base. This series will be devised of roughly 10 episodes and I'll have all of them that I'm thinking about on the screen now. I did mention the plans that I will be making available. Because of the level of detail that I want these plans to have, I'll be releasing the next update for the plans as each episode is released. So when I do the base, the base part of the plans will be available. And then when I frame the walls, the wall parts. And the reason for that is I've decided that I might tweak things as I go and I really want the plans that I make available to reflect that. The benefit of doing this is I don't need to read out all of the measurements in the actual video. You'll be able to refer to the plans as I'm going along. And if you're sat there wondering why you might want to build the Ultimate Garden Workshop using the plans that I've made available, well, it gives you the confidence in knowing that you can build this workshop without having to go through planning permission or building regulations, which is required to build anything outside of a certain size within your garden. It also allows anyone to have the confidence to actually build the workshop, knowing that each step they are taking will smoothly feed into the next step and they will at the end have a really nice build that they can be proud of and I do want to stress that I really am keen on this being a community effort so if you do have any feedback or if you've built your own workshop before and you think that I'm about to do something that isn't quite right then please go ahead and leave a comment and I'll make sure to reply and as you can see the area has now been cleared for me to start to lay the concrete base but before I do I wanted to talk to you all a little bit about the plans for the ultimate garden workshop and why they remain exempt from problems. <laughs> 